The Empress Praetorians have long been the defenders of Holy Terra. They remember the before times. When the Magnus aired, the Thousand Suns faced censure from them and the Space Wolves. Today, Aramon looks to gain a measure of revenge as Mubin pilots the Thousand Suns versus Bridger of Tabletop Titans, looking to live up to the moniker of Custodian Guard and clean up some dusty rubrici. This is 40k in 40 minutes. Prospero Revisited! Greetings 40k fans, your host JT here, and what a classic matchup we've got for you today. Straight out of the pages of the Black Library's Horse Heresy, Moomin and his Thousand Sons seek to enact vengeance against the Custodies for atrocities they enacted on Prospero. And Bridger of Tabletop Titans is here to put a stop to that. All right, I'm Bridger from Tabletop Titans, and I'm here to play Custodies today against Moomin's Thousand Sons. So we have a, a strong mixed force of Custodies today. We have some tanks, we have some shooting, we have some fighting, we have some cool characters, we have it all. We even have sisters to hold objectives. I think it's gonna be a good time. We're just trying to have a well-rounded force. Bridger's bringing 1,500 points of Custodians with Trajan and five Custodian Guard, a shield captain with the Veil Blade and five Sagittarum, a Blade Champion with Ceases Hunter, and five more Custodian Guard, a Gallinus Dreadnought, two squads of Prosecutors, two Alaris Terminators, a Venerable Land Raider, and a Cladius Grav Tank. That Cladius Grav Tank can shoot an absolute ton, but really, Custodies have been the master of the close combat phase, and I'm looking for Bridger to get in super close and tie up Mubin right away. Hey everyone, Mubin here today, and I am bringing my Thousand Sons against some Custodes. I get to play against Bridger for my Thousand Sons today. I am obviously bringing Magnus. I've also got Armon, a Mutalith Vortex Beast, bunch of Rubric Marines. Mubin has responded with a whole bunch of monsters. He's got Kairos Fateweaver, as well as Magnus, a Mutalith Vortex Beast, Aramon leading a squad of five Rubric Marines, an Infernal Master with five more Rubric Marines, a Sorcerer with, you guessed it, five Rubric Marines, and the big block of ten Terminators. That's right, ten Scarab Occult Terminators with a Sorcerer to really mess up somebody's day. We have had this matchup during a live stream. Uh, I changed up my list a little bit, and I'm excited to see how things go differently today. Not going to lose my tanks immediately. He's bringing something a little different. He's bringing a Land Raider of all things. I don't know how to feel about this, but it's golden boy shenanigans and we're going to see how this goes. Today's game was recorded prior to the September balance data slate, so some of these rules may no longer be correctly played. Just a heads up before you head to the comment section. Today's deployment map is sweeping engagement, long table edges with an angled deployment. Our primary mission is a modified ritual. Players will set up their own objectives in No Man's Land, in addition to setting up an extra one from the Hidden Supplies rule, and that's how they're going to score primary this game. Five points each, up to 15 per turn, and 50 for the game. This should make for a high-scoring primary game, despite they're only playing 1,500 points each. Both players have chosen to play Tactical Secondaries. Bridger. This is a rematch for us. You're going down, move in. I changed so little, except I changed all the terrain. That's actually how I'm going to beat you. Oh, you're, so you're using the terrain as a home field advantage here. Is that I what it is? I brought my own terrain just to beat you, move in. This episode is brought to you by Titan's Terrain. All right, today we are unveiling our brand new set of Titan's Terrain. We're playing on the Forgotten Furnace, our new core set, and the Infernal Spire, very cool expansion, and another centerpiece. It's pretty awesome. Super excited to be playing on these. Thanks, Bridger. Titan's Terrain is the easiest, fastest, and most affordable way to level up your tabletop. Ready right out of the box and easy to store and set up, each set is beautifully detailed, helping you build an amazing battlefield. Whether you use these sets alone or with the original starter sets, you'll be set up and playing in no time. Plus, teardown is just as fast. Store them away on a bookshelf, ready for your next battle. This new Kickstarter has six sets from three different sci-fi worlds. Make sure to check out their Kickstarter, Titans Terrain 2, or follow the link in the description below. Now, back to the action. I have changed absolutely nothing out of my list when I played against you on that live stream, so you know exactly what's coming at you. Except this time I have a Land Raider to bring down. I think on our channel, nobody has ever killed a Land Raider in all of time. So it means if I destroy that Land Raider, I'm officially better than everyone on your channel? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bridger's got his Terminators as well as five Prosecutors in Deep Strike and five Custodian Guard with Trajan in their Land Raider. Who gets to deploy? Attack your Defender. Let's see it. Hey, look, a four. I also got a four. Oh, okay, this is how it's gonna go. So it begins. Oh, another four. In the box. Hey, a five. Okay. And I'll deploy first. Here we go. Terminators. Just gonna hide in the back here. Coward. Doing terminator -y things. I'm gonna put my tank as far away. The Gladius Grav Tank looks so lonely out in the corner there. 
But Moomin has nothing that can reach it without some Zinchian shenanigans, so I think it's gonna rain fire for at least a couple of turns. So you have a unit that's just standing around holding an objective? Well, I have a unit that's just standing around holding an objective. Sweet. Vortex Beast just going right out there, chomping at the bit. Well, I see your big, be your big beast. Yep. With your and big beast. I'm gonna put down my big beast. Oh. Uh, with, Chonk. With Valdor inside. He's gonna chomp right at the whole bit. <laughs> Coming for that Land Raider. You crazy. Well, my Land Raider comes equipped with a bodyguard, and his name is Steve. Damn it, Steve. The Mutalith, Kairos Fate Weaver, and Magnus are all right dead middle and could seriously smash into the Custody's lines and through, should the Dice Gods be watching. This should be a real malfunction at the junction. What street is this? We're occupying it with Custodes. All right, I see how it is. Filling this beautiful you. And my last unit, Infernal Master, with his boys. They're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna take over this building. It's my building now. We've deployed, we're ready to go. Now it's the question. Who goes first? Oh, yes. is you. This is gonna hurt, but hopefully Magnus can weather the storm. Let's have a good game, man. Yeah, we're gonna have a great game. Woo. Start of battle round. Magnus does Magnus things. Moobin chooses impossible form for Magnus. That's gonna make him minus one all incoming damage. Hopefully that keeps him alive for a turn. Both players get a command point. Bridger draws, bring it down, and secure no man's land. Both of those secondaries are eminently achievable. It's time to move. Or as we like to call around here, it's the Moobin phase. I need to be nine inches away. The Galatus Dread is gonna perform a ritual, giving Bridger another objective. And then we're gonna drive up our Land Raider. I foresee a charged Magnus here. Beep, beep. Beep. Do you want to overwatch? Huh? Huh? Not yet. Huh? Do you want, huh? Not yet. Huh? Yeah? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. I mean, they're just going to get out. You can't shoot them. But if they move afterwards, they wow, can still get shot, right? they're going to stand here. They're going to stand very menacingly. They're going to stand there menacingly, then. We're going to advance Ooh. this unit of custodian guard. A whopping 11 inches. Bridger's moving the Cladius into a better firing position. I'm actually not sure who's going to have any shots. That's a little bit too bad, but keeping it around near an objective is not a bad idea. We're just gonna shuffle up my heavy bolters. Dreadnought is performing the ritual. Let's fire up this Land Raider and see what this bad boy can do. It's gonna whiff. Put all four Godhammer last cannons. Yep. In a mag. I'm gonna put a Seeker missile in a mag. 100 killer. Uh, 100 killer missile in a magnus. Put the twin heavy bolter and the storm bolter into, into these thousand. The Armon and friends? Yeah. Okay. We'll start with Godhammer last cannons. So here's the last cannons. We hit yep. the twos because we're custodians. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, that will be three laser cannon wounds for you, sir. All right. Four up in Vols. Uh, I make two fail one. Okay. Moobin spends a command point on Death by Fate on Magnus to zero that damage. That's a big one. Yeah, here's my hunter killer on two. It yes. hits. Three to wound. Nope. A twin heavy barrel turf. With the total bricks. The total bricks. Yep. These hit on twos. Threes with twin linked. Yep. Twin linked. Four up. Hey, fails. And one rubric marine dies. <laughs> heavy boulder. Heavy boulder. <laughs> and you still have the storm boulders to go. Storm boulder. Fours. Three ups. I still fail another two. Oh. So two rubric marines die. Ah, small arms Yee. fire. And we're almost done with my entire shoe phase. Okay. Trajan. And friends. And his crew. No, I'll shoot Magnus. We have four rerolls to win. It'll be fine. We can roll all sixes. Uh, we hit on twos. Twos. Reroll it. Nothing so far. And then a reroll. One wound. Threes. No. Takes up. Uh, and then we have Trajan with his. With his fancy bolt, huh? His Watcher's Axe. They both hit. This will also be sixes to wound. Rerolling. Nope. And then once per game, the whole squad is just like, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Double tapping with his custodian guard to not much effect. Do I charge things now? Charge the clock. Trajan and the boys into Magnus. Here we go. It yep. It, yeah. Seven. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> Moobin's using the Arch Sorcerer of Zinch ability from Armand to give Magnus reroll wounds. Let's hope he lives that long. It's karate time. Karate time. So my karate is Dekantarai, which gives me sustained hits one. On okay. all of my attacks. I'm also going to take the moment shackle. Trajan's got it. It's a, Crack it's a very over. precious relic from deep in the history of Terra. And he just, just breaks over his knee and he's like, double my attacks. 
Bridger spends a command point on Slayers of Nightmares. Trajan's unit is going to be plus one to wound Magnus. Uh, there's the wombo combo. Moon responds with Kairos ability. One hand looks back to make that cost one more command point should Bridger want to do that again. If Magnus lives through this, that extra command point cost could be clutch as it will help his mutilid vortex beast as well. Here comes Trajan from the top rope. Sixes are sustained. And I will reroll ones to wound because of custodian guard not on an objective. Yep. Why do you never make saves when I need you to make saves, sir? Oh my! Down goes Magnus! Did Magnus just die on turn one? What the deuce? Boy howdy, the custodians are crazy strong. Didn't make enough four ups. That's Magnus dead. Ouch. So at the end of the turn, yep. my ritual completes. Yep. And a new objective appears. Yay! <laughs> That's a huge turn for Bridger. Max points scored, 10 points on secondary. Neither player has a command point left. As we head into movements half a turn one, I'm not sure I wouldn't be on tilt right now. All right, start of my turn. We both go up a command point. Yeah. Yay. Command phase and movement is choosing sustained hits in his command phase for his psychic weapons. He's also using the Umberlific Crystal to redeploy his Scarab Occult Terminators and has 12 Cabal points as Magnus is dead. His secondary draws Storm Hostile Objective and Behind Enemy Lines, both eminently achievable as well. And then onto movement phase. Not a ton of rearranging for movement here. The Mutalith and Kairos are gonna look to do some work mid table and try to get rid of that block in front of him. End of my movement phase. The Terminators come down. The Terminators. Yep. The real story of this movement phase is that whack load of Terminators and Bridger's backline. Mubin needs them to do some serious work. More sorcery and tricks from these Thousand Sons teleporting their Terminators around. They're behind us, but you know, our rear armor is as good as our front armor, so it's all the same to me. In the shooting phase, I'm gonna just start shooting. Start of movement shooting phase, he's gonna spend nine Cabal points on Twist of Fate, and that's gonna remove Trajan's unit's armor save. Oh boy. Oh, they just, they have all these spells and all this magic, they're reading all these books. Why can't they just fight fair? Taking away my armor save. I'm gonna start with the Infernal Master squad. He's within 18, so foosh goes foosh. Infernal Master, Screamer Invocation first, and then all the bolters will go into the same squad because that's all they can see. Focus which fire this, so it's gonna be 2d6 instead of 2d3. Eight. Eight. Fours. Mm. Four ups. Uh, I'll fail Ooh. one. So two damage. Fives. Four of them. All. I'll fail two of those. He dies. All right, you know what, to make myself feel okay, Armon and his friends are gonna shoot into the same squad. Armon first, and he's got all the pistols. All of them. I'm gonna go with Psychic Stock first. He's just basically gonna look at Trajan uh -huh. and try to make him go boom. So you're going twos, looking for a six. So looking for fours. Right now, yep. And then his Infernal Bolt Pistol, cause you know, pew. Hits. Hey, wounds. Just Four, good. Uh, warp Flame Pistol and Warp Smite from the little guy. So Warp Flame Pistol, D6, four shots. Fives, cause mm. of Armon. Warp Smite is two attacks. So looking for a four up. Hey, look, all three of them. Four, four ups again. again. Hey, look, uh, two more did go through, which pulls another model. Yay, another one dead. And Soul Reaper Cannon, six shots. Gatling Cannon go burr. Brr. So one four up, and then one different kind of four up. Good. So the Rubrics and the Sorcerer in the back, they're gonna shoot into the same squad. All right, so starting with the little guy. So we'll start with the Warp Flame Pistol. Six shots. Sixes, because no fancy shenanigans here. 2d6 for six. So no sustained hits. And looking for fives. Four of him, I'll just take away my armor. I'll fail okay, one. take another one. One damage? One damage. Three bolters. Bolters. Shenanigans. Fours, fail both. Perfect. One, one, damage. one damage each. Full Reaper Cannon is left. Okay. We have to pull another model. Another one die. One at a time, all another day. One. I'm gonna go with Kairos next. Oh. He will focus his witch fire as well and go for Infernal Gateway. On to, yep. Trajan and boys, D3 plus six. And then threes. Pull up. Oh, 
What's the damage? D3. I failed three. One at a time. He's dead. Yep. Next one. And then two, the last and one. And then the last one would kill him. So two more die. So the guard are gone. Now for the Vortex Beast. Yeah. Mutilate Vortex Beast gets to target Trajan now. Hitting on threes, strength 18. So threes and twos. It hits. And that's uh, straight to devastating wounds. Won't die though. 11. That's the end of Trajan. How many wounds does he have? I don't know, a bunch. He's gonna, you're, you're gonna fail exactly enough and he's gonna die. No, he's fine. He's gonna die. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's alive on one? He's alive on one? One wound. That's not ideal. Fighting Trajan is never a fun proposition, but does he have enough to be able to kill him in combat? He's on one wound, but that's all he needs. One wound. As long as he can see combat again, he'll he'll take blood. Scarab occult. Mm -hmm. Magic mind bullets from the Sorcerer and Terminator armor. Missile racks into the Land Raider. Soul Reaper cannons into the other tank. All the bolters into the sisters. Cool. Butcher spending his command point to pop smoke on his Land Raider that's taking some shots. So, of course, getting flames first from the Sorcerer and Terminator armor. Looking mm -hmm. for fours now. Yeah. Uh, gets one. Anti vehicles. I'm just looking for fours. Sure. Hey, doesn't move. And then the four shots from the Hellfire missile rack. Yep, Aspiring Sorcerer into the ladies. Oh, into them. Three attacks. Hey, look, all three hit. Let's go straight to the other one. Feel the pains? Yep. Oh, one dice. Hey, you felt some pain. You mind bulleted a sister to death. Right? Felt that's pain. A, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's non-canonical right there. Two Solar for cannons into the other tank. Uh, look at the threes. Oh, yeah. Fives? Five. Sixes are what I really want. Manages to save it. That'll help. Scarab Occult Terminators now, they pick up those Sisters of Silence. That was a lot of guns. Well, the Sisters got smoked, but, uh, you know, that's their job. They, um, they're disposable within this army. Charge. Charge. The one and the most important one, we're gonna start with the Terminators. Yeah. Into the Land Raider. Looking for a nine. Oh, Terminator Charge fails. Whoop and spends his command point to reroll, and he's in. Oh, and that's he the makes nine. It. Big nine. Yes. They made it in. Now let's take down this Land Raider. Go Terminators, go. Armament, Kairos, and the Mutilith Vortex Beast all charge Trajan. Everything. So I have activated the Kaptaris Karate. Okay. Which makes all your custodians, or just him or all the custodians? All of my custodians are minus one to hit in combat. You know what, Aramon? <laughs> You've got this. Okay, so looking for threes and then twos. Yeah. And then looking for twos. Eat the twos. Oh, oh, oh. Four of them. You just kindly fail all of these. Three up saves. You fell one. Five up feel no pain. Oh, he just has a five up feel no pain. All okay. the time? All the time. All the time. All the time. Just fail one. All fives? Oh, fail two. Zelda, yes. no. Ho, ho, ho. Well, you kill my warlord, I kill yours. Trajan is down and so is Magnus. Oh my goodness. What a fight. Golf clubs. Golf clubs for Armon. <laughs> It wasn't even the biggest opponent. It was just this little arm on, just poking Trajan and he dies. Fine, I guess he already killed Magnus, so whatever. All the Terminators got a bunch of Land Raider here. Swing your silly swords at the back of my Land Raider. I will simply put it in reverse. Three up Land Raider saves. Ooh, two go through. Uh, take four damage. four damage. Down to 12 for now. Two, still nine of them left. Terminators go to the Land Raider. It survives to strike back. So it'll be down to six. It is time for me to back over you in my beautiful tonk. Yeah, I'm right before bracketing. So I'll be hitting you on force. <laughs> Math is hard. A uh, pair of wounds. Okay, maybe not. Yep. Terminators. Oh, take a damage. Yeah. Oh, you're what? much farther from the objective than I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't get Storm Hostile objective, but I will still score behind enemy lines for three points. It's something. End of turn one, 10 to three in favor of Bridger, and both players have lost their Warlords. We're only at the end of round one. What a fight! Movement has kept Storm Hostile objective and scored behind enemy lines for three. Start of turn two now, and the Land Raider has failed its Battleshock test. Bridger has to spend his command point to pass it to score that extra five primary. So that's gonna leave him without command points, and that could be a really big deal later. Score my primary or get 10 points with the two objectives that I have captured. Bridger's secondaries are behind enemy lines and capture enemy outpost. 
Again, both of these are eminently scorable for him. It's a movement. It's a movement. Beep, beep, beep. Gladiator falls back. Even though it could shoot into combat, he wants that extra plus one to hit it. So now we're mobilizing all of our forces. We're going to cork the bottle and buy time with the Land Raider. And then everybody's going to turn inward on these Terminators. It's going to be great. We have a plan. The Custodian Guard move up, and they get overwatched by the big brick of Terminators, and they manage to kill one. We're going to waddle over with our Dreadnought, the toddler Dreadnought. I just have reserves. Reserves and deep strike, yeah. So and these are just going to come in nine away over there, yeah. Alaris Terminators drop into movement's back corner. Here we so, go. Shooting. Start with Custodian Guard. Yep. Shooting Scarab Call. Cut. Shooting phase now, and the Custodian Guard double tap. Not much in there shooting at all. Sagittarum into uh, Terminator. Scarab Call. Sagittarum shooting into the Scarab Occult Terminators. Shooting once per game, devastating wounds, and he loses half of his Terminators. Wow. All right, we have cleared the way for the Caladius. We will put everything into the Scarab Call Terminators. Four heavy Magna Blaze shots. Yep. Okay. That's what it's Oh, there you go. Okay. Ooh, the Caladius has killed a couple more Terminators. We have a Fire Sword. Fire Sword. Me... Galatis fires now into the brick of Terminators, and it is almost gone. So down to one wound remaining on this little guy. Yeah, I saw this coming. All that shooting. I don't have that many Terminators left. Going into combat, I'll be lucky if they survive. Your Terminators can shoot now. Here come the Alaris. Into rubrics. the rubrics. Yep. Uh, I'll start with the grenades, which have blast. Terminators shoot the rubrics on the back line and take a couple of them down. All right. That was okay. a great shooting phase. That was actually a really good shooting phase. Couldn't have asked for more than that. I have this Dreadnought. Such he's, an easy charge. He's going to charge you. Yeah. He's so angry. He goes a whole five inches. Boom. Blade Wizard Squad. It's gonna be a five inch charge. Yep. He of course lets them re-roll charges, so when I fail this, now I'm in. But I could have re-rolled it. You could have re-rolled it. Could have re-rolled it. But you barely make it in. Oh, here comes a nine and fail. for the Alaris. Fail. I've, but I've never failed a charge in my You're gonna fail it now. I've never failed. You're failing it now. No, I failed. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said I never fail charges, but I guess sometimes. I roll less than nine, and um, the Alaris are gonna have to capture that objective next turn. All right, at the beginning of the fight phase, we resume. Karate. The karate. Yeah, we'll go sustain hits. Okay. I mean, I gotta give the Dreadnought a chance to shine. So we're hitting on twos here with my big Dreadnought, and yep. uh, that six, fours. fours. So four ups. Hey, look, they're okay. We'll go to Custodian Guard now. Yep. Scarab Occult are about to die, I believe. Oh no, character's not gonna make it either. And there goes a lot of movements, oomph. All right, so, so that was a pretty good. That was a pretty bloody turn. Pretty again. good turn in general. Aggressive play from both players here, and it is taking its toll. What an absolute slobber knocker. And a Bridger's turn two, and he's scored behind enemy lines, kept capture enemy outposts. We've got to score a 23 to three as we head to movements turn two. So, straight of my turn, both get a command point. Command phase, movement chooses sustained hits on Psychic still and draws secure no man's land. He does a ritual, he'll score some points. Not a bad draw. On to moving. I don't have to be closer to you. Are you running away? I'm gonna make Get you work away. for it. Spreading out a little bit here, he, he needs to hide from that Caladius, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. End of movement phase, I've got the Vortex ability. Mutating Vortex! One, four up. I'll take it. Take a mortal wound, great. And then take a battle shock test again. Mm, battle shock. He's okay. Sounds good. I never expected to take this many leadership tests as a custodian. In the shooting phase, Infernal Master and his squad are going to do the ritual so they can pop up another objective. Vortex Beast is just gonna try and pop the Land Raider. Single shot, it hits. I need the six now, I need it to wound. Doesn't get the devastating, but I think a four will do it. You're a six up safe? Yep. Oh, right, there's no invul on it. No invul on the Land Raider, I fail it. Oh, he's taken down the Land Raider, that's big. Those Godhammer last cannons can hurt. Nobody has ever killed the Land Raider. I'm the first person to kill the Land Raider. 
I take it, it's a win. I'm actually gonna go to the Sorcerer Squad in the back here, staring down some Lars Terminators. Mm. So we're gonna go with the Soul Reaper Cannon first. Look for threes, fives. Rhea, he's good. And then the Warp Swing. Four, nope, so just the one. Four up in wall. Just okay. making those for days. Armon and his boys are gonna go first because that'll decide where his Kairos okay. is shooting, shooting goes. Armon firing into the custodian's mid table, trying to down the blade champion. Six for five. <laughs> He's down to one. Down to a single wound remaining. Boop. Now with his rubric friends. Yep. So a warp smite and then the Gatling cannon or the soul reaper cannon. So a warp smite first. Um, so the five is good. Soul reaper cannon goes burr. Four up, fill the pain. Oh, four up, fill the pain, good. Yep, you shrug that. Oh my God, these custodes will not die. They are just making all the saves they can. This is brutal. You are making an unholy amount of fours there, sir. I love it. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Big Bird is gonna shoot into Blade Wizard and friends. Kairos kills another custody. I am actually gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna declare any charges. No charges, eh? Coward. Because let's be honest, as much as I'd like to, that is not a smart move. And that is gonna be my turn. Oops. I get a new objective, which means I can actually drop it right here. Boop. And a round two, and Movin discards Storm Hostile objective for a command point. He has secured No Man's Land for five. He's gone up to two command points and Bridger sits at one, and our score is 23 to 13 in Bridger's favor as we head to turn three. All right, Custodes, turn three. We each gain a command point. I go to three. I will draw one new secondary. Bridger's drawn, deploy, teleport homers, and spends a command point on Vigil Unending to bring back a Custodian. 10 points on primary, three command points for Mubin, and one now for Bridger. It's a moving time. Start of the movement phase, Mubin is spending six Cabal points on Echoes of the Warp, so he can zero command point a stratagem. Probably gonna be Overwatch, as it is his best bet to thin those Custodes before they hit him. They can advance and charge once per game, and their guns are assault, so we'll just advance them. Cool. Yeah. Uh, he also rerolls charge, or er, advances, so. Cool. We'll just reroll that one, and go six. Move your Custodes, because I'm gonna Overwatch them with the Vortex Beast. Yep, there it is. One command point for two Overwatches. Pretty good deal. He's down to two command points, but he's re-rolling to fish for a six. Oh no, he's not gonna be able to interrupt a fight and he's gotta know the Custodes are gonna charge him. He has forced Bridger to spend a command point to save one of his Custodian guards, so I'm not sure if that's the trade I'd look for. So we'll move up our Dreadnought. Yep. Take for the second one. wants to get visibility. Straight up six inches. Last squad of prosecutors go into movement's deployment zone. They're gonna play homers and get five points for Bridger right there. Start of shooting phase. Yeah. Armand's gonna drop the last of the Cabal points mm -hmm. on himself for Weaver of Fate. Five, we're gonna start with Sagittarum. All right. Shooting their oh so heavy bolters. Into Big Bird. Into Big Bird. Yeah, yeah. hitting on twos. Two wounds going. Four up in He makes one, fails one. Two damage going. Down to 18 wounds. And then the captain in that squad will shoot. Yep. Sixes. No. We'll move all the way to the other side of the board where we have a Caladius Grav Tank. Grav Tank. Shooting Big Bird. Twos. So it's a, got a, lethal. a pair of wounds. Oh, there you go. Threes. Yep. Four up in wolves. Oh, Kairos Fate Weaver has to command reroll that save and movement's out of command points. On yep. a four up, he refunds the CP. He does not, so I'm out of CP. And these are D6 plus two damage. Yep, so there's two of them. So that's three plus four is seven damage. Seven damage, he is down to 11 wounds remaining. The Galatis. Galatis. We'll shoot his fire sword. D6 hits. Ooh. Just so we're looking for threes. Yep. And it is twin linked. So three four ups. Uh, make one fail two, so the flamer goes foosh. Let's go over to the Alaris. They're gonna shoot the Rubrics who are hiding behind this Chaos Pillar. That's fine. Here's their grenades, 2d6, wrist launch. No blast this time. Grenades, twos. Yep. Four. And we reroll because there's a character in there? There's a character. there's a character in there. 
All right, so a pair of AP1s. Force. Uh, make one fail one, so one has taken a damage. We are firing the axes. And then axes, four hits. Yep. Looking for fours. Yep. Reroll because you have a character. Yep. Four up. He's okay. Next one. He's okay. Last one. No, oh, he dies. One. All told, they killed one Rubric Marine. Who concludes? The shooting phase, I just have three Custodian Guard in the middle. So I'll put their, their three shots. Yeah. Or their six shots into Armon. So we're hitting on twos, because yep. Assault isn't minus one anymore. Fours. Four up. Good. Four up. Dead. Dead. And then this one's into Armon. Two damage on Armon. Yeah, two damage on Armon. So Bodyguard are dead, and he's down to four wounds remaining. Charge phase. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to charge the Sagittarum into the and their captain into the largest of birds. You would, I don't, would you just kindly fail this? Oh, but I don't fail You charges. said this last time. I don't fail charges. Okay, yeah, you didn't this time. I don't, we just... Uh-huh, uh-huh. We just go uh -huh. in. Uh-huh. I'm going to take the Custodian Guard, the Blade Wizard in the middle. Yep. And charge Armon and the large and bird. And Big Bird, okay. I don't think I can fail this. Yeah, I didn't. Would you roll? A nine. You only need a seven. Let's just roll a seven for you. How about a nine? Does a nine, nine will do. In they go. Crashing in. All right, I made all my charges. Looking good. Everything's to plan. Just need a good fight phase here, and hopefully we can close this out. Karate! I'm going to do sustained hits. Yeah, Makes sense. Everything, everything has exploding sixes. Yep. This could be a really big fight phase for Bridger, yeah. and could theoretically put moving away. Twos. Yep. Take out these ones, and then those sixes put them right back in. Three Run. wounds. Ooh, three wounds, okay. Impulse. He's a happy little demon. He shrugs the pocket knives, but just you wait. Well, here's eight attacks from the cat. Threes, because it's an axe. Okay. Oh. No. Nothing. Nothing. I'll put the two custodian guard. Well, they have to go into our no, armor. And then one guard and one bleed wizard. Guard and bleed wizard into, into bird. Yeah. There's ten attacks into Armon. Yeah. Twos, threes. Three on ones. Eight four ups. Go go Armon. No Armon. He dies. Oh, Armon goes down. But Kairos is still around. We still have a big threat on the table. Here's one custodian into guard bird. into big bird. Twos. They all hit. Fives. Real one. One wind. Four up. He's okay. He's good. Uh, so he's going with Victus. This will hit on twos. Okay. Uh, sixes are devastating. Oh, so no devastating. Buddies. Nice. So fours. Oh, he takes well, the wounds. Those are three damage each, sir. All right. Down to five wounds left. Oh, but Kairos is still up. Ah, <sighs> why? Why the bird? It's so, so big. We don't have handcuffs big enough for this bird. How do you even handcuff wings? That takes us to Alaris. Alaris Terminators into the poor little rubric and friend. Because they're cool axes. Let's just roll them all out. Uh, I make three of them. So these are three damage each. So, Aspiring Sorcerer dies. Thousands and Sorcerers down to a wound. I get to bonk back now. It's, it's bonking time. It's bonking time. Kairos is going to bonk into the Sword Wizard and friends. The threes. Four ups. Kairos kills a couple of custodies, and that ends the fight phase. This is becoming a bit of a rout. Does Moomin have anything left here to do at all? I'm not out yet. I'm not giving up this easy. I'm still going to fight for it. Command phase. I get a command point. You get a command point. Movement's draw a tempting target and capture enemy outpost. He's going to discard that for a command point to get deployed teleport homers. These are secondaries he can do. He is going to gain 10 on primary to make our score 46-23, so he's not out of it yet. Everything that Movement has has to do work, though, so let's see what he's got. Regular Sorcerer is taking Battle Shock Test. Uh, oh, he fails. But I can't hold that anyway, so I'm not fussed. Mm -hmm. and I'm not planning on using any stratagems on him. Oh, no, Big Bird has to take one, too. Oh, Big Bird also fails. And let's do moving things. Vortex Beast, off you go. Go do Vortexy things. Sword. Okay, he's just gonna scooch up to that way. Mutilith Vortex Beast craps out some mortal wounds, but there's not much in that. Into shooting. Shooting. 
You know, I'm gonna start with Big Bird and his indirect fire. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna shoot into the Galadus. We're just gonna go with the focus switch fire again. D3 plus six. Kairos Fate Weaver shoots the Galadus and he takes three mortals from Hazardous. Ouch! Oh, his brain hurts. Oh, his brain hurts. It's down to two wounds left on Kairos. So I'm gonna take a single beam attack into the Palladius with the Mutal of Vortex Beast mm -hmm. and see what he does. The six is what I wanted. Straight to mortals. D6 plus six. For one. So seven mortal wounds. Seven. Seven four ups. The Lone Sorcerer is still in combat. He can still fight you or shoot you. He shoots fire at you. Mm -hmm. 2d6 for seven. Seven. Fives. So these are the threes. I'll fail one. Warp Flame Pistol. Might uh -huh. as well. Just looking for sixes. Charge the clock. Vortex Beast into the Galadus. Go, go. Oh, hey, look. Ten. Oh, for sure. The Galadus is getting surrounded here. The Mutalith, as well as the Infernal Master and Rubik Marines, are all charged into it. Easy charges. We're in. I'm on the two objectives. Now let's just get rid of this dreadnought. Fighting. Oh, and I have to do... Karate. Karate. I think I'm actually gonna go lethal. Lethal hits. Bring down the large bird. Yeah, we're gonna start with Infernal yeah. Master and friends. And we're gonna start with the friends first. Okay. So threes and then sixes. And then the rest of the boys, there's... Oh, I should also pile them in. Regular boys with their close combat weapons, threes and then sixes. And then six of them. Two. He's okay. Infernal Master, gonna show him what for. Vortex? Nope. All right, Vortex Beast. What's the Vortex Beast? He'll handle it. Here goes nothing. Fives. Ongoing fighting. Go in with the Sagittarium with their lethal hits. And because they have a shield captain, they get two. So I'll do sustained and lethal. For all they the know karates. so many karates. Once karates. per game, they get all three karates. That's too much karate. You could step in a dojo and they'd be like, sir, too much karate. You're, you're too good for us here. Get out. Please leave. Sixes are lethal and sustained. Sixes to wound. <laughs> All three karates. Bridger has swept the leg, Johnny, and Kairos is down. The sorcerer back here is just gonna try and clonk some boys. All right, here comes the sorcerer. Fives. Uh, AP one, right? AP one. Nah, you're okay. My Alaris Terminators are gonna Yep. Go ahead and put down that, that sorcerer. Uh, you'll get four up saves. Three four ups. Wizard. Nope, he's done. <laughs> Galadus, what's he gonna do? I have eight sword swings. Might be enough to get rid of this unit, mm -hmm. but they don't really threaten me, and I'm not sure I'll actually get you off the point. So I think the Vortex Beast is actually... The bigger threat. So these will hit on twos. Sixes are lethal. Five still in for another two, so that's five wounds. Five wounds. He's got a five up invul. He makes two of them. I get a five up feel no pain against that. Seven damage down to six. He's still alive. And a movement's turn three, and he really doesn't have a lot left in this, folks, but he's kicked Bridger off all of the objectives, so Bridger's not gonna score any primary. I couldn't do teleport homers. I have to get rid of it. it it's, I don't have enough resources to not be attacking. It is an 18 point lead though. Is that enough with no primary for Bridger this turn? I feel he could put movement away here if he can repeat what he did turn two, but he too is really wounded. Still, we've seen players snatch defeat from the jaws of victory before. This could be it, folks. Two command points. All right, we're both up two command points. The start, yeah. Custody's turn four, I think. And then I'm taking you back to Terra, Movement. You and all of your dusty boys. No, we're just going to go back to the warp. It's fine. Putting you in jail. Nope. The deepest prisons. Nope. We don't even dust down there. You'll That's love fine. it. Bridger draws overwhelming force and tempting target. Both are really good draws, and we've got a score of 46 to 28 as we head into his movement phase. Bridger is not scoring any primary points this turn. It's giving me a fighting chance, a slim chance, but a fighting chance. So let's return to doing the ritual. Okay. Right? I feel like we both of us forgot kinda, about this We kind of stopped doing thing. the ritual. We're just like, it's okay. So we're going to walk up these Custodian Guard. Custodians are moving up. The Vortex Beast fires Overwatch for a command point. Movement is down to one. Bridger again has to spend a command point to save that trooper, and he too is down to one. But you know what? Hey, at least it forced the command point out of you. We're going to bring our heavy bolters to bear. We're just going to come around this corner. All right. 
Uh, the Alaris are so far out of the game. They're just going to chill there. They're, they're fine where they are. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to fall back to Gladys, which is a little awkward, but I have more guns than anything else. So we're going to bump up this Caladius. Okay. Fall back to Gladys. I think we're going to start with the Heavy Bolters, who can only see the Vortex. The Vortex beast. Okay. Sergeant Tarum, Heavy Bolters into the Mutilith. Not much there, but the Caladius absolutely paced the Mutilith Vortex Beast. Oh no! We painted the town Vortex Beast. Finally, I have one Custodian Guard who will bravely, bravely... Try and shoot the Infernal Master in front. They both hit. No, take some damage. It's time to charge. I mean, I'm of course gonna charge my Tonk. But first, my one wound Blade Wizard and his one wound friend, Custodian Guard. Oh, no, he makes it up. Never failed to charge in my life, Boobin. You failed one. Nope. It's on camera, you failed one. Nope, no, I've never, oh, actually you never failed, failed one, it's on camera now. I would be remiss to not charge with this tank. All right. Nope. Makes it. Should I tank shock you? So here, I'm spending my last command point on tank shock with my Caladius. Yep. Uh, I am strength six, so I get six dice. Oh, looking for fives. One mortal wound. One of them has a damage. And now we enter the fight phase where I karate. The Infernal Master is the only thing between me and assured victory, so let's get it. I'm gonna spend the last of my Cabal points to give that squad a reroll failed save. For my karate of the day, I'm gonna choose sustained hits. Dart with the Custodian Guard. Yep. So he gets his five attacks. Threes. I make one fail two. I will spend my free reroll here. Mm -hmm. Nope, so it's still lose two, so the wounded one and his other bolter buddy dies. And then Blade Champion will bring out his Behemoth. So this will be six attacks. Three strength seven. Okay. Custodian yep. guard are cool. Five ups, one at a time. Nope, he's dead, because I'm assuming it's more than one wound. It's two damage, yep. I'm just gonna roll these and see what happens. I'm gonna use my Glimpse of Eternity first, turn that into a six. Okay. Command reroll. Okay. Because I haven't command rerolled yet. Makes another save. Okay. So he only takes one of those. So two damage. He's down to two wounds left. Caladius, I'm gonna run you over. You can try. Three ups. He's okay. Oh, he's good. So that's gonna deny me assassination. Yep. Then he's gonna bonk back and he's just gonna take out uh, Blade Both Wizard in front. Yeah. He's got this. He's got this. Does he have this? He's got two hits. That's all he needs. Three ups. No, we're good. Aww. That's the end of my turn. End of turn. I failed assassination, and then I got five points on Overwhelming Force, Vortex Beast, and Rubrics. Yep. And that's where we're gonna call it, folks. What an absolute slugfest. Make your final 61 to 38 in favor of Bridger and his Custodes. You know, the, there were some, some heavy losses for the Emperor here, but we're bringing you back. We're locking you up. You actually have someone to bring back with you. With a vacuum cleaner, yeah. Yeah. Gonna... Well, no, no, he's not a vacuum cleaner. It's just the rubrics that are about. And then we cleaners. just dump out the dust trap in the basement. Thank you, gentlemen, for an absolutely fantastic match. We had combat from turn one. That was a lot of fun. I have to admit, I can't wait to see what this matchup would look like after the data slate drop. I smell a rematch. Special thanks again to this episode sponsor, Titans Terrain. Make sure to check out Titans Terrain 2 on Kickstarter or follow the link in the description below. A big thank you to all of you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as our behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. As always, on behalf of all of us here at Play On, this has been your host JT saying, until the next time you see us in the far flung future of a grimdark universe, Play On! Thanks so much, Plan, for having me. I had a great time. Uh, and thanks so much for letting us sponsor this, this video with uh, Titans Terrain. It's one of our favorite projects. We've been working on this train for several years now, and this is our second rendition. We have a cool lava board, and we hope you guys like it too. I had a blast. It was really fun to play the Custodes again a second time. I know the first time was on a live stream for our exclusive content, but getting another match in, it again, it's a hard fought battle but it's a great battle nonetheless. All right, great game, Mubin. You fought hard, but you were just on the wrong side of this battle. The Imperium always prevails. 
Thank you again for coming out and having these games. I look forward to more in the future. And yeah, enjoy those victor dice. I got victor dice! I won!